Within the first 20 minutes of 1917, I've noticed that there was hardly any dialogue in the film. I was also enraptured by the horrific landscapes and overwhelming wide shots of dead World War I soldiers mounting onto one another. Perhaps director Sam Mendes made 1917 as a reminder of how enduring and catastrophic war is on the human psyche. Perhaps Mendes just wanted to make a film dedicated to a relative who had fought in World War I. Either way, 1917 does a remarkable job entrenching audiences into a time when the only way to live through the night was to survive. Nineteen Seventeen focuses on two young British soldiers who are tasked with delivering a message calling off an attack which is doomed to fail. The consequences of an unsuccessful delivery are felt immediately once the general, in charge of the two young soldiers, explains that the Germans had already retreated to the Hindenburg Line and are expecting the attack from their enemies. It's an excellent way to put the audience on edge even if they don't have any connection to the soldiers readying to attack the Germans. While the first several minutes do a lot to raise the stakes, it's a continuous long shot that seemingly doesn't stop until a crucial moment, which really does a lot to keep the tension flowing. Legendary cinematographer Roger Deakins and editor Lee Smith are the ones responsible for creating this continuous single long shot from frame one all the way to a midpoint in the film. After coming out of the theater, I tried thinking of why Deacon, Smith, and Mendez choose to use the one shot throughout the entire film, and all I could think was that they wanted the audience to experience exactly what the characters in the film were experiencing. As in life, there are no cuts or breaks, rather life is just one continuous shot that sometimes has its ups and downs. And like how we use our eyes, the camera may pan over to look at one area and then focus on something else. Mendez and the company have done a remarkable job making me and the audience feel as if we were all transported into this horrific world with one message which could save lives. For more reviews, check out what's on our film blog, realsubmissionsblog.com. Until next time, see ya.